Hi and welcome to CSM Tech. I'm Peter Briggs and we're going to have a little video on decision making. So we all make thousands of decisions every single day, most of which we're not even aware we're making. Each decision marks the cutoff point between thinking and taking action. Although it is sometimes overwhelming, the decision making process is easier if you being, begin with a decision description. Write a series of sentences that state what needs to be decided, avoid making assumptions, and while you shouldn't restrict the range of potential options, ensure you focus on what you want to achieve. As well as working out what you need to decide, you should consider how you'll make this decision. You alone should make the decision if you're accountable for the outcome, if there's not enough time, or it's not crucial. Although you can still ask other people's advice. However, if you're after a creative solution, armed under a time constraint, you should make the decision as part of a group. Not only does this method offer a range of perspectives, but there's also a bigger commitment to the decision as those involved feel that there is a sense of responsibility towards the outcome. The next step of the process is to generate potential options through research, mind mapping and discussion. Remembering that most decisions require a choice between several to be effective. Use your intuition, gain a consensus, or put the options through a decision matrix to conclude which achieves what you need it to. What is a decision matrix? A decision matrix is a set of criteria against which a decision will be made. You can split these into two categories, essential and desired. A decision matrix is a thought process that works out which option is best to meet them all. I usually assign a high, medium and low rating against any desired criteria. And for each option, that has to be everything you consider to be essential. The option that you've had the highest overall rating, taking into account the criteria you've considered to be the most important. This should be the one you choose. You can make the process more technical by listing the criteria in order of importance and assign it a score out of 10. Once you have the criteria score, highlight each option and give that a score out of 10 too. Time the two scores together to get a final result. The option with the highest total is therefore the best option for what you want to achieve. Make a decision by working out what you need to decide, generate a list of potential options and using a set of criteria to determine which will be the most effective.